I picked up this water just to see what the hype is all about. What is up, you guys? My name is Anna. I am Latina. If you are Latino or Latina, déjame saber en los comentarios de dónde me estás viendo. Today we have a video that makes me so excited. It's a what's in my bag. It's also a review slash update on my YSL Lulu. Is it Lulu or Lulu? Lulu. Whatever, it's a small size. You guys know what it is. It's written in the title. My favorite video to watch, it's a what's in my bag. It's just a tea small size in me. Like, I just want to know what people carry in their bag. I'm just very nosy. I love seeing what people have. When those videos were a thing many years ago, I was nowhere near on YouTube or on social media. I kind of missed on the original bandwagon, but here we are. Let me just give you a warning. I am one of those people. I literally carry everything. I have been labeled as the mom in my group because I literally have everything in my purse. And you're gonna be quite surprised to see how much stuff fits in this bag. So first I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. And then after that, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts slash review on this purse. Because you've been wanting to buy it. I also have an unboxing video, so I'll link it at the end of this video. You can also just go to my channel. But anyways, let's see what's in here. So what is in my bag? Oof. The first thing I have is actually my AirPods. Believe it or not this is an airpods case and i love this case first off it's very very cute i know it's bulky but from my experience having the airpods on the original case with my adhd just being being anna i lose them a lot so i wanted to get an obnoxious obnoxious case for it so a i don't lose it and b it's cute to look at i did have the first generation of airpods and i can tell you if you can save the money and skip to the newer ones because they are life-changing they work so 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 good next up we have the obvious my phone i recently got this phone case this is from wildflower yeah wildflower this is an iphone 12 pro max it fits more than good in this bag because you're gonna see how much i have in there there's no problem with my phone fitting in there what else i have a <laughs> Um, excuse me, I'm filming. I have a photo booth picture with Chase. I may or may not have been really drunk when we did this. We also have a hair cloth. If you want to put your hair up, it's become one of those things that I can never leave the house without. So, hair cloth. Did I even show you the... Okay, wow. You guys already know me. You know my ADD is through the roof. I should have started by showing you what the inside looks like, even though I already pulled some of the stuff. Everything that I picked up so far was in this front section. I I also have a back section and a little holder here and there's also a zipper in the middle right now i'm pulling everything from the front section in there as well i have lip balm from the brand asap not gonna lie not my favorite one love their hand lotion and their hand sani i love trying new things and i decided to try their lip balm actually in the next video that's gonna go up my next vlog i showed you guys when i got this one the update is that while it's really good i feel like the scent throws me off a lot just the fact that it's very citrusy that's not what I like to have on my lips and then there's other one right here is one of my favorite lip glosses I picked this one up at Walmart it is from the brand I have no idea it's a beyond a pout lip locker I know it looks very orange but it gives your lips the perfect like warm tone and it's juicy and it also like feels minty which I love next up I have my car keys my Kroger car for groceries this is the key to our shed next up I have a concealer from Ilya I usually don't carry makeup with me but I think last time I used this purse I went to shoot some pictures so whenever I do that I do carry concealer but I typically don't what I do carry with me a lot is lip liners I am always touching up with lip liner and gloss this one is you can't even see the name because i've used it so much but this is max strip down and this one is makeup forever aqua lip in the shade 3c so the one on top is makeup forever and the one on bottom is strip down obviously you can tell i have a type i love these i always carry those with me i feel like the makeup forever definitely lasts longer i'm gonna like everything that you're gonna see me pull out just check out the description box and then this little pouch right here is my emergency pouch whenever i switch purses the one thing that always comes with me is this little pouch. I have eye drops, I wear contacts, and if you wear contacts, you know the struggle. So these are just moisturizing drops. I have two hair ties, sanitizing wipe, band-aids from Paul Frank. How cute are these? I love band-aids. I always, always, always carry band-aids with me. This little thing right here is actually like a travel size cream container, but I have, have some leave in there. I get a lot of migraines and headaches constantly, so I always have to have this on hand. And then the other one 
one is my Prozac. I have to take every single day. So I'd like to carry like a daily dose in here just in case I missed it in the morning or something. Speaking of medicine, this is empty. Don't know why, but this is Ivy Guard. I've shared this a lot. I don't think I've shared it like on the vlog, but on Instagram, I'm always talking about how I have IBS. I always like to carry Ivy Guard with me just in case I'm about to eat something that is going to... Made me show my pants, uh, which is often. And then the last thing that I have in this little pouch are two little essential oils. So this one is mint. This one I put on my temples if I have like a really, really bad headache. And this one, I forgot what it is, but it's also one that's meant to relax you and ground you. That's everything in the front part. Like you guys, we still have the whole bag and the whole zipper. As you saw, it fits so much just in the front part. Like it's insane. So now in the back part, I have a hand lotion. This is my favorite hand lotion I've ever tried. Tried. This was actually a recommendation from you guys. I asked on stories. I just love hand cream and like I'm very passionate about it. And a lot of you guys recommended the L'Occitane, specifically the almond oil one. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this has been my holy grail ever since. So thank you guys for this recommendation. The next thing I have is my face mask. This is one of the best face masks I've ever tried. I actually got it from Uniqlo. So if you live near Uniqlo or can order from there, I highly, highly, highly recommend their mask we have my wallet i either have this or like a regular car holder if i'm wearing a smaller purse i'll just use a car holder not my best picture the hair you know I, I, it was a face i was going through i have my id right here so i can just show we want to go to the bar debit card credit card i don't have cash i never ever 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 carry cash oh wait i do have a penny what else? Oh, we have hand sandy. I have this hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Honestly, not the best scent. It's white almond and lavender, and it's, it's a little too sweet. I know I'm gonna use it, so yeah. But if you see it, don't buy it. I have a Buffalo Exchange card. Oh, I have $35. I need to go shopping. The last thing, oh, there's something tiny, but I have my Kindle. You guys, have you noticed how much I've pulled from this bag? Like, what the heck? Best purchase ever. I went back and forth for so many months about buying it. Finally pulled the trigger, and I'm so glad I did. I can fit it in my purse. I can read whatever I go. It made me read so much more. Like, I breeze through books right now, and I love learning. I love reading. Could not recommend this enough. The last thing I have here is actually a crystal. So this is a, are you gonna focus or not? Okay, this is a pirate. And the inside flap, I got nothing. All we have left is a zipper right here. I have my, oh, more band-aids. And I have my vaccination card and chases. I'm gonna block the vital information from it. I don't know if you're supposed to, but the second dose of vinyl one, I brought this purse with me and I just put our cards in the zipper and I've been carrying it ever since and it's actually come in really handy. But that is everything that is in my bag. That was a lot. <laughs> I told you guys I carry so much in my purse. I hope you enjoyed watching what's in my bag. Now let's go to the review part and tell you just about how much I've been loving this baby. Long story short, listen, if you're ready to click out of this video and all you need to hear is, is this bag worth it? 100%. Now I would like to tell you why I think it's worth it. I mean, you guys know I'm honest. I don't push a lot of things on you, but I think that this bag is 100% worth it. I did my own research before purchasing. I watched a ton of videos, a bunch of reviews, like all that. I've been eyeing this one since 2017 and finally got it in 2021. So it obviously took me a while to build up the money to be able to spend it whether you have a lot of money sitting around in your bank account or you're saving for a designer purse that you're gonna love through the years and wear a ton i would so recommend this one to be your first designer purchase or your next purchase again depending on your situation it just fits so much and i know that getting something that could not fit this much i would have been so disappointed this is the perfect bag to transition from daytime to nighttime i love how comfortable it is just to carry like that but also crossbody it's like one of my favorite ways. If you guys have seen any of my content, videos, styling, outfit pictures, 90% of the time I'm wearing this purse and it's because I love her. I did take this one on many trips already. I took this one to New York. I took this one to LA. I know it's a purse that I can bring with me on a trip and have everything I need in here. And the best part about it, because I know having crossbody bags, sometimes it's a little bit heavy. If it starts to get a little heavy, you just have it on the shoulder like that and it's a lot less weight. I'm actually taking a trip to Chicago in a couple weeks and this 
this is definitely the purse that I'm going to be taking. I will say the downside of having a nicer purse is having to be worried about weather. So like if it's raining, my first reaction is like my purse, it can't get wet. I'll literally protect my purse above anything else. I don't know exactly what would happen if it gets wet. I can only imagine water is not good for leather. I did purchase a leather conditioner. I went to Nordstrom because they carry this purse and they recommended a product. I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna link it in the description for you, but that's what I've been using to clean it. And every time I put it on, it looks literally brand new. The only thing I would say I wish this bag had, it would be so perfect if it had a little pouch back here to put my phone. That just seems so convenient, even your wallet. But I mean, so far, no complaints, no scratches. It looks amazing. She hasn't lost any shape at all. The leather is just as good as when I got it. I don't even stuff it. Like when I'm not wearing it, I have this little shelf in my office with all my designer purses. I just pop it in there like that. Don't put it in the dust bag. I don't know if that's gonna make you cringe or not. I would say I take care of it, but I'm not that person who's like, oh, my purse, don't touch. I flap it around and so far, so good. I mean, if I haven't convinced you already, I would say that overall, this is a 10 out of 10, a yes for me. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you for requesting this. It makes me happy that you wanna know what's in my purse. Okay, I have a question. What's the one product that you'll always have in your purse? And we're not talking about the basics, phones, key, wallet, no. For for me, I've always said this and I will always say it, hand lotion. The feeling of just having dry hands, oh, cringe, cringe so hard. Let me know what is the one product you always have to carry with you. I would love to know if this, does anybody else love hand lotion as much as I do. I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.